You started today's session by pointing out that carbon emissions, where falling in other sectors, continue to increase in the transport sector. Yeah, the transport sector is responsible for 24% of all the CO2 emissions in Europe. That is bad. What is worse, in other sectors, for example, industry, we have a decrease by 32% and in the transport sector, an increase by 28% in the same period of time. So the transport sector is nullifying all the efforts we have done with billions of euros of our taxpayers in other sectors. Therefore, without a change of mobility, we can't fight against climate change, but that is necessary that our children and their children will have a perspective to live on this planet. You're also a great advocate for bike tourism. Why do we need to invest more in this sector? Because the, for the infrastructure in bike tourism, you don't need a lot of money. But the benefits are very high because there are not poor people which are on the bike. I know people, they have their Mercedes in the garage at home and riding their bike through Europe in the holidays. And they don't look for a euro for food or accommodation. The best is just enough for them. And all research have found out that bike tourists spend more money a day than auto tourists. And nobody could expect it. So it is not only eco ecological wonderful, it is economic also feasible and necessary and therefore especially for abundant regions it is good or to enlarge for example the skiing trails in winter you can use at bike trails in summer or uh, on the coastline where only two or three months it is interesting to have a bath in the sea with a bike you can enlarge these peak seasons for eight to eight or nine or ten months so it is for economic reasons it is also good and, of course, that is the way to do because we want to save mobility and the climate. And bike tourism can also bring tourism to some unusual places. And this trail that goes along the whole length of what was the Iron Curtain is proving incredibly popular, isn't it? Yeah, because now we have 25 years, the 25th anniversary of the reunification of Germany and of Europe. And this trail, and I always quote Willem von Homburg, Humboldt, he said, only the one who knows the past will have a future. We all want to have a future, a wonderful future, therefore we have to look at the past. And this trail shows the bad situation, the division of Europe, but the overcome of this division, it was done by people, not by the politicians. And that is wonderful. And this trail runs from the Barents Sea on the Norwegian-Russian border along the western border of the former Warsaw Pact states to the Black Sea on the Turkish-Bulgarian border. Through 20 countries and 15 of them now are member states of the European Union. And if I would have told you that 30 years ago, you would have said, you are crazy. But that is our reality, a wonderful reality. People have changed the world, therefore we have to look at it. And with a bike, you are fast enough to see a lot and slow enough to look at it.